So we want to find area of the region bounded by the curves y equals x square, y equals 0, x equals 2, and x equals 5. And there are a lot of curves here, so I guess one of the things that you, we may want to do before we even look at the area is to draw these curves and see what's up. Well, y equals 0, let's start with that because that is the x-axis. Because when y equals 0 is horizontal, at 0, that's the x-axis. So let's draw the x-axis and label it y equals 0. x equals 2 is a vertical line at 2. And x equals 5 is a vertical line at 5. And y equals x squared is a parabola that goes to the origin. The origin is somewhere here. Let's label that. And then we can draw the parabola y equals x squared. It's not a very good parabola, but the picture is kind of really an exaggeration. So let's see. This area enclosed by these four curves, that's what we want. And so, since this is the x-axis, what this problem is really asking is, what is the area under the curve y equals x squared, but above the x-axis between x equals 2 and x equals 5? And this area is just the definite integral of the function y equals x squared dx from x equals 2 to 5. So it's a definite integral. Remember that definite integrals give you the area, the lower curve, and above the x-axis. Let's do this. So the, antideriv uh, the antiderivative of x squared is x cubed over 3. And we want to evaluate this from 2 to 5, which means, and in case you've forgotten, we're using the second fundamental theorem of calculus here. The one that says you take the antiderivative and plug in the top and bottom numbers and subtract to get the definite integral. So we can plug the numbers in, put an equal sign here. 5 cubed is 125 minus 8 all over 3. So this area is going to be 117 over 3. Whatever units this is in. We're not given any units. So we'll just leave it as 117 over 3.